hello everyone so here I'm going to deal with the uh, kind of assembly so how we gonna <coughs> use the bottom-up assembly approach to assemble the crane hook components actually these are uh, SOLIDWORKS component I just imported into step files then I have converted these files into Katia so for that I have created one more video how to convert uh, step files to the Katia file so that we can use these components directly into the Katia assemblies so let me just open this component inside the assembly design so if you want to add the components there are multiple ways the first one is uh, you can directly select this one that is existing component and click on product it would pop up this table and from here you can choose the component one method so one more method is uh, you can directly click on it and just select this one existing component and select the next one so next component is uh, support plate then push and push crane hook is already added and select this one push open it so this is the next component the thing is uh, I'll just reorient it how I want okay now by using this triad I'll just uh, bring this component up just place on it you can drag along XYZ and rotate whatever you want you can do it here so like this I'll just drag it up and I'll place this one again I'll just just select this uh, dragger and just drag it it will replace to its original place <coughs> next I need to assign the mates here very easy you can deal with these two very frequently used constraints that is coincident constraint that is access one just click on it and select do not show okay okay select the axis of this and this then the next one is contact constraint you can directly update by using manual update uh, let me just specify all the mates first then I can go with the others let it be here because I need to add one more component first and browse it this one this is uh, anchor hook open it by using triad I'll just drag and drop on my component properly in place anyway like this and I'll just remove my triad now again access mate with respect to this component ok this one and this one done the update then using contact I'll just select this face and this face update done once that is done next thing is to assign the contact mate again with respect to this surface and this top surface click ok actually you can see the mate got reversed so that what I can do I'll just double click on it and I'll use more just to change it it should show here why it is not to edit this mate to reverse these two mm. change constraint and select this this one ok yeah now you can oppose it you can use this one and try to update it no same update yeah this is the proper one 
I think we can just update the mates by just reversing the position once that is done next component I need to bring in I'll use this red color I'm done with two and let me add wash up I'll just search for it and I'll just open it here you can use triad to bring it up otherwise I'll let's, let me just start deal with the direct mates itself put this component yeah it is somewhat difficult to specify the mates for now I'll just use my dragger and place on this component I'll move it first then I'll just drag and drop somewhere here I'll select it go inside select this axis and it should show yep it's here don't update now itself you can go with contact the surface and the stop surface update now once it is done click on product open it and you can add this one lock nut 15 auto rename okay you can rename manually that also you can do use your triad just place on it drag it up move it constant mate with respect to this and this yep contact between these two places update done so i need to add the support plate open it and then it's somewhere here open I need to reorient it properly so let me just place the triad on it drag it up tilt rotate like this once it is done arrange the mates the first one let me just define as axis mate and then contact Update that. I can use mirror mm, here. And let me just specify the plane first. I'll activate the planes. Show not this one. Try with this. Try with this. Yeah. Mirror with respect to select the symmetry plane. This one component is this. Okay. Number of products only one. You can increase it to two. I don't think so. Let it be close. Done. Uh, I need to add next component. I'll browse it. This one itself. That is ambush. So use a triad. Place on it. Drag it up. Take this side. Rotate it properly like this. Then again, access made with respect to this and this and then contact between this face and I think inside one yep oh shit I think again it got reversed down oh. yes I need to change the mate which one this coincident Say update. No, I think space specification is wrong. Try with under defined or opposite. Oh shit! The space definition is wrong itself. This should be deleted. can specify like this there is no delete option for this so I'll directly use we'll try with this again contact surface apply 
No, I think I need to delete this and uh, rework on it. Okay, I need to move this component. Where is this? Here. I'll use move. Manipulate along y this component. It is not getting selected. Okay. It's done. Now again I'll specify. If I update it, it will go again there itself. Oh, I think so. <laughs> Already given uh, which made that one is um, okay. So while manipulating, while manipulating, we have this one with respect to constraint. So now if I try this. Okay, something is wrong. Okay, everything is moving, cancel. If I just specify only that component, that was better, I think. Let me just check it again. It should not crash, otherwise, I need to restart everything. I'll just select this component and I'll manipulate it. Again the same. Okay, let me just deal with this things later. Contact this face and this face. Update. Now I need to define the nuts. This time eight lock not eight. I need add it. A tower rename. Okay. Once that is done, you can use your triad and place. Sorry, something else I took. It might try out. It's coincident this and this then use the contact faces these to update them once this is done next thing is to add the next component This one, plate spacer. I'll manipulate I think we can directly do that instead of manipulating. Let it be as we already done that. Lock at seven open to rename until software solves it, it shows not solved. Once it is solved, it should solve, then you can use it. Yep, 
like this you can just deal with uh, other components if you want I can just explain all this uh, I think uh, all the component I added here I'll use again mirror with respect to this play plane is this component is this one let me check whether I can specify all this or the component I think at once only one let's see and this again this one yeah this is how we work with assemblies I hope uh, this video will help you to analyze the assemblies in a better manner thank you all for watching please do support our channel even please do subscribe thank you all bye